Pokemon Scarlet and Violet may not actually be done with completely yet. So if you don't already know, there's obviously this huge tarot leak that went down where like hundreds or even thousands of things just got leaked with Pokemon, which is insane. But apparently Scarlet and Violet still may have a future to it, which I thought it was going to be done with because we had the DLC part one and two and we had like other updates and, and they really did bring in a lot to that game like after its initial release. And obviously Scarlet and Violet were huge. They sold like so many copies and obviously they had a lot of performance issues, which according to the leakers that have played Legends EA apparently, it has some performance issues as well. So Legends EA, just be prepared for it to, to possibly have similar performance issues as Scarlet and Violet. I'm just hoping that it's just because they played it on a PC, not on like the true console that it's supposed to be played on, you know what I mean? Before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video and comment down below what you wanna see from Legends EA. Any support goes a long way and I really Really appreciate it. So over on Central Leaks Twitter, they said potential huge new Scarlet and Violet leak, which is crazy because I didn't think we were gonna get really anything Scarlet and Violet related with all of these leaks because it's like what what could they possibly give us from Scarlet and Violet? A couple of days ago, Central Leaks tweeted like pictures of like prototype footage kind of stuff of Scarlet and Violet, like of the of the graphics, everything like before it was rendered and, and I can't show the pictures because I don't want to get this video taken down, but it was basically just like Roblox type of graphics for Scarlet and Violet. It's pretty cool to see. He said even though Legends Ye and Gen 10 are in the horizon, seems like we're not quite done with Scarlet and Violet. We mentioned before that the hacker didn't want to share SV source code because there's an update that hasn't been released yet. Now we have more information. So apparently Game Freak has an update ready for Scarlet and Violet. And the reason why we haven't seen it in the leaks is because the leaker does not want it to be canceled, which, you know, Game Freak could just say, okay, everyone already knows about it, we're not going to do it anymore. So, that's pretty clutch. This leaker, honestly, like, I know that there are some ethical issues that may arise with leaking video games, but this leaker, for the most part, is giving us stuff that's, like, not major. Like, he's giving us tons of stuff about just old Pokemon games, like, prototype footage, test footage, like, beta Pokemon, you know, Pokemon that were never released, which is nothing, like, that bad. In regards... And in regards to like Generation 10 or Legends ZA, there's really nothing like too deep in there that's gonna spoil the game. You know what I mean? Like we don't have any footage of Legends ZA. We don't have anything really more about Generation 10. So with this Scarlet and Violet, you know, there may be an update, which I think would be pretty cool because I would like to go back to that game. Even with the performance issues, I had a lot of fun with that game. Like I, I thoroughly enjoyed Scarlet and Violet. Like I can't even lie, I, I enjoyed it a lot. And apparently, it could be related to the Switch too. So he said we can conclude two things from that. There's an unreleased event for a mythical Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet like Picharant or Pichirut. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. And that Game Freak is slash was working on a version of Scarlet and Violet for the Switch too. Note that the hacker has not explicitly mentioned that, but reading between the lines, we see no other explanation to the given justification as to why not release the source code. Of course, this tell us they were working on it. Maybe both things could have been scrapped. There's no way for us, nor the hacker to know. And talking about how Scarlet and Violet will be the main game up until like the next generation comes out, which is pretty true. So this is crazy stuff. So just kind of reiterating here, it's not like 100% a confirmation. It is confirmed that there was at least something planned and that it still could come out. Like it still could potentially be released to us, but it's not 100% sure like confirmed that we're actually going to get whatever this update is and there could be a new mythical Pokemon. I honestly wouldn't doubt that there could be a new mythical Pokemon, but I also am not firm on that. Like, I don't really imagine us getting another mythical Pokemon. I feel like they would have given that to us already. They gave us Pacharun or Pacharun, whatever, in the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, which I think was pretty cool. And that mythical Pokemon, I actually really like Pacharun because it still has, like, that, the typical, like, mythical, you know, smaller design, like, a cute smaller design, which is funny that that's how they usually are, like, with mythical Pokemon. Like, they're usually, like, a small Pokemon, and they're, like, they have a really high, like, cuteness factor. Of course, there's, like, the exception with, like, Deoxys and stuff. Like, there are, there are mythical Pokemon that really cool looking like not like so cutesy you know just for lack of better words but i would be interested to see like how they would give us another mythical because if they were to give us another mythical pokemon in scarlet and violet they would have to give us more story like there would have to be some sort of free update because with a dlc i'm pretty sure the only way to get the mythical pokemon is if you have the dlc i'm not 100 percent sure on that it's been a while since i've been on that that game so i don't know if you actually need the dlc to get pacharun i don't know if you can get it without the DLC, but I know that he had something to do with the storyline because I played the DLC and everything. So like I said, if they give us a mythical Pokemon, we're going to have some sort of extended storyline, but I don't know how they would pull that off. So it's like, if they were planning on it, 
they probably were planning on it earlier on, like maybe even before the DLC or shortly after because, I mean, the storyline, in my opinion, is pretty much done. I mean, you could always add more to a story. Like, a story's never, like, 100% completely finished, you know what I mean? Like, you could always add something new. So here's a picture from the actual leakers themselves, like, what they said, like, their text and their message to... I guess everyone, I don't know how Central Leaks got this, I don't know if it's individually sent to Central Leaks or just in general for everyone. They said we don't give a single care about any kind of image fame or whatever. Just note that they did not say or use the word care. We do not want to actively risk more damage that was more, that was actually inevitable, aka us entering inside Game Freak IT in the mandatory delay it will create. Leaking Titan might cause Game Freak to stop events completely when they might still have some. Remember Diamond and Pearl era? Most of the events Pokemon were never seen in their real even form because of all the glitches, data mining, blah blah blah, that just ruined the discovery so much that they never distributed the original event. That is crazy to think about. It also might reveal information in relation to the ounce console and not only this might affect Nintendo pretty badly, but it could also make Nintendo way more angry than they already are. Leaking Gaia slash Akaku might actually make them decide to delay the game insanely more due to all the information leaked, like redo the story, change enough from the leaked one. I actually made a video about that recently, like what if the delays, like what if the game is delayed because of all the leaks, like what if they want to change things because of the leaks? And thinking about it now, like I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier, but some of the leaks that we did have for Generation 10, which is Gaia. Gaia is referring to Generation 10, and Akaku is referring to Legend ZA, and Titan is Scarlet and Violet. And apparently, Scarlet and Violet actually has a pretty big connection to Generation 10, so if that's true, like, maybe potentially the Scarlet and Violet update is some sort of direct connection to Generation 10. And it seems like Scarlet and Violet may even have something to do with Legend ZA, my fear, my theory is probably not, like, there's probably some sort of reference, but I, it probably doesn't have anything to do with the storyline, and I'm saying that because it's connected, you know, Paldea and Kalos are connected technically on the map because of Spain and France, and they could be connected, but this, like, the leaker said that the information could reveal something in relation to the Ounce console, which is the next Nintendo console, the Switch 2, or whatever you want to call it, so it's like, maybe these... Maybe this update really is going to be the bridge from Generation 9 to 10, and maybe they're planning on releasing it, like, relatively in relation to the release date of Generation 10, which is probably going to be 2026, maybe 27. I feel like it really could be 2027, honestly, but I guess we'll have to see, because this is pretty interesting stuff, and I really hope that the leaks do not delay anything, because they really could, you know what I mean? Like the leaker said, you know, Game Freak and Nintendo, they could completely change the game. They could say, all right, we need six more months, and we're going to change the game completely, but what would be bad about that? It would probably delay everything, and here's the thing. A lot of people say that they want more delays because they want a better game, which I'm with them 100%, but apparently Legends Day was already delayed, like it was supposed to initially be released in 2024, not 2025, so they already kind of like soft delayed it, like without us knowing, which is good I think, because I hope the game is more polished and comes out better, but hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below if you want to see anything more with Scarlet and Violet. Personally, I would say yes, because because I think the game is really fun and I could see them giving us more stories. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.